it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. I'm back with another Nightmare Queens video where I talk about vintage horror written by women and today I'm talking about Hotel Transylvania by Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough. Hotel Transylvania by Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough was originally published in 1978. It is set in 1743 in Paris during the reign of Louis XV. So our main character here is the mysterious gentleman Le Comte de Saint-Germain and the other main character here is Madeleine de Montalier. She is travelling to Paris to stay with her aunt and uncle and she is there in order to have her debut in society and meet all of these other, you know, rich and influential people. But running alongside this, we are introduced to a group of Satanists who are preparing for a very important ritual. One of the people that Madeleine meets during her time in Paris is Le Comte de Saint-Germain and they form an instant friendship which turns into something more. She finds out that he's a vampire but this doesn't deter her and they have a secret affair. This is a vampire novel but it feels like a vampire novel with a difference. The vampire element is definitely a part of the story and the fact that Saint-Germain is a vampire definitely helps him in certain ways and it's also a big element of his relationship with Madeleine, but the vampire part of the story is almost secondary, in fact, to the main storyline which runs through this novel. I really enjoyed this book. I loved the setting. I don't think I've read anything set during this time period, let alone a vampire novel set in this time period, so that was really interesting. I thought all of her descriptions really helped set the scene and evoke this time and place. There's a lot of kind of gossipy, melodramatic stuff going on between all of these characters which was really fun, but there are also some really dark moments within the story too. They're not super frequent but there are some scenes of violence, including sexual violence, and yeah, uh, Yarbrough is definitely not one to shy away from getting somewhat graphic when it's called for. So I thought the combination of this kind of well-to-do high society setting contrasted with some dark and depraved stuff going on behind the scenes was really well done. At the end of each chapter there is a letter or part of a letter from and to various characters within the book. I thought that format worked really well because it was a way of getting relevant information across without feeling like it was just a big info dump. And I also just really enjoyed the language of these pretty formal letters that would be typical of that era. So we have a vampire novel set in Paris in the mid 1700s we have this satanic cult that are looking to perform this awful ritual. We also have a group of people who are alchemists, which was a really interesting part of the story. There is a bit of romance, a bit of sauciness too, and some, yeah, pretty brutal violent scenes as well thrown into the mix. So it was a really good combination. I really enjoyed it. This was my first time reading any of Yarbrough's work and I would definitely pick up more by her. I know Hotel Transylvania is book one in a very big series all involving Le Comte de Saint-Germain. From what I understand you don't have to read them all or you know necessarily in any order because I think they are kind of self-contained stories within each novel, but yeah, don't quote me on that. Uh, I haven't read any of the others yet, and 
Admittedly, I'm not a big series person, but if I see any more in this series, I will definitely pick them up. This was an excellent read. I rated it four stars. And I did this as a buddy read with the lovely Regina over at Regina's Haunted Library. I will leave her channel linked below in case you aren't already following her. So those were my thoughts on Hotel Transylvania by Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough. Really great vampire novel that I would definitely recommend checking out. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I will see you again in my next video.